God, the story in this game is so good. Trapped by the ocean scent. Um. Oh, that's just okay. That's still kind of creepy. What the fuck is going on? Chad, I think Fuyuhiko isn't gonna make it if he got taken to this place. What the fuck is this? I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing here? I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Hey, Lameo. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. Oh. He is fine. Well, I'll be damned. What? You all- Oh, he's talking. He's all right. Apparently, we're gonna hold the memorial for Mahiru right now. Mahiru? Mahiru told me she wanted to take pictures of me jamming on an instrument. And she also said she wanted to take pictures of Hyoko dancing. So we decided to do it all together here. I shall call this the Memorial Jam Session. And so we finished our preparations and the memorial service for Mahiru began. Oh yeah. Ibuki's hardcore. <laughs> Chucky's hitting that triangle with intensity. The combination is crazy and everyone's doing different things, but strangely it's harmonizing really well. Dude, it's baby metal. Even though our paces are all different, will we be able to be like this in the future? Mahiru, can you hear this performance? Are you seeing Hyoko's dance? Not just Mahiru, Peko, Teru Teru, Byakuya, are you all watching? We will never forget about you, ever. Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start the next song. Oh yes. Come on, baby. Give me another one. Did they have the budget for two full songs? Did they have the budget? What? <laughs> Right. Hey, what's everyone doing here? Whoa, <laughs> oh, me. Hey, don't interfere. Oh, I was enjoying such a fun party, too. I wasn't invited to the party. Obviously, no, nah, you'd ruin the party if you were here. But seriously, now it's not the time. Now it's not the time to enjoy a fun party. But why? Akane... Akane is... Akane is dueling Monokuma. Oh no. After running there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking seed unfold before me. Oh shit. Oh no. Nekomaru. The world shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. 
And within that white, I heard a voice. Yelp. He'll be okay, right? ちょっと<笑> Oh, he's the best male character. Oh, kill him. Kidding me? Ah! Nekomaru died. When we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekomaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. Do you think you won't die? Well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus, the nightmare continues. Sing Listen carefully, Hajime. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know, the true identity of World Ender, the traitor who was hiding among us, is... <laughs> Byakuya, but he's dead! <laughs> Alright, Nagito's officially lost it. What? That's right, Byakuya is alive! He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. So it's just as I thought. The true identity of this high fever is... That's right, this is a new motive that I've given you. The despair disease. You know, there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's not like I added them recently, I just never told you about them. Anyway, the, en the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. The despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing. Let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is affected by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> despair, 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 despair. It's amazing. You all should get it too. We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all have to die from this despair disease. Uh-oh. That's the only way. Thump. Whoa, he collapsed. Nagito. Now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease, or even before that? I'm so excited about it, I'm just gonna stand around naked. Just kidding, I'm always naked. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so a sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but... 
My body feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Who's sleeping on top of me? Oh, yes! Someone is sleeping on top of me. Excellent. Oh, look at that butt. She's got a nice butt. She's strangling me. You know what? That's an okay way to die. I'd be okay with that. I'm sorry. I thought about taking a rest in the on-call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. Then I'll be on the bottom next time. Ooh. It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft. And oh, God. Chad, it's happening again. <laughs> Wait a minute. I appreciate... Again? What the fuck? <laughs> How... What? How... What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on at that music venue? And that's when it happened. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving and began climbing the stepladder. Look away, dude! Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment... Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black. Probably because the candle, the only source of light, had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. What the heck is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. All right, one more time. At Fuyuhiko signal, we charge into the door one more time. It was like a live performance had just ended. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> It's still a hallucination, right? Whoa, what the fuck? Aha. There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body. A suspended body belonging to Hyoko. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> this chapter is so fucking intense. <laughs> fuck. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually extremely annoyed that she's dead. That fucking sucks. God damn it. Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. 
Damn it. It's all my fault. If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is. Jeez, it feels like someone died in here or something. Fuck you, Monokuma. Rin, welcome to the back of Brigade as well. Give him some fair. Oh shit, Chad, it's time! It's time to be a dumbass. Woo! I'm excited. Let's fucking go. Now then, let's begin. It's the beginning of the long awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. I'll try. I definitely can't believe it. Oh god, there's so much red now. But whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. I still miss Byakuya. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. That's why I must find out no matter the cost. For our sake. For our friend's sake. For Ibuki and Hyoko's sake. And so the curtain of the third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. That's right, I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. It's fuck Soda, fuck you, Soda. Fuck you. What? <laughs> Shit. I don't know. No, it's, no, it's not Shiaki. She was acting weird, there's no way it's, no. No, dude. No. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Fuck! Gundam? No. I like Gundam. Gundam's, Gundam's chill, dude. Okay, I, I fucking have no idea. Is it me? Am I the killer? <laughs> Sonya? It could be Sonya. I don't know who it is. Can I select myself? Oh, I can. I won't, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chiaki. Don't fucking look at me like that, okay? Look. Look, I, I'm, I'm an idiot. I, I don't fucking know who it is, okay? I guess it would have been me, Can, then, because of the hospital conference room. You know what? Why didn't I pick that first? That makes sense. Jesus Christ. That was terrible. I didn't want to believe it was her. She's she's so cute, dude. She's got that booty. That rockin' booty. I don't know why I had to think about that one. That's pretty free. First try. スミキと一緒に病院にやってきた俺はロビーで会うことに気がついたんだ。監視モニターの受信ランプが予定時間より早く点灯していたんだよ。俺がモニターのスイッチを押してみると、朝袋をかぶった患者服姿の誰かが今
そうなんだろ積み木これがお前の仕組んだ犯行なんだろコンプリート<笑>いなそういつもそう<笑>あるいが私だ<笑>私に問題があるのがいけないんだって<笑>そんなのもうたくさんもうたくさんなんですよ She has lost it. おい、つみきつるいよつるいつるいつるいつるいよどうして私を許してくれないんですか自分のやったことはすぐに許しちゃうくせに私が何をしたって言うんですかどうして誰も許してくれないんですかくそ Gotta be shit to me Are you saying Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health, was the one who killed them? Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> Jesus. Don't just laugh. Say something. This is going nowhere. <laughs> This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. There's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Based on my prediction, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. Mikan, too, you say? I know, because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. Which means the Mikan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's infected by the despair disease. <laughs> She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair? <laughs> I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. There's no way I can forgive that. Oh, Monokuma, is it alright for you to start now? Oh boy. What's this gonna be? It's hospital theme, probably, so it's gonna make me rather uncomfortable. As long as she doesn't get turned into butter. Bye bye, ouchies. I fucking hate needles. What? Okay, I wasn't expecting that, I guess. Okay. It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki, Miyota, and Hyoko Sionji was Mikan Sumiki. And she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. So, in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. Special event? Head over to the first island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Oh, what's that? Hey, hey, what's that? 
まさか久しぶりだからってわしの顔を忘れたんじゃねえだろうなそりゃ寂しいぞあんまりじゃろう<笑>えーっと誰だあお前さんまでどうしたふざけとるともうあれしてやらんぞおなおえっと二代くんそれって自分で気づいてる気づいているわしのこの体のことかハハハこんなもんは大したことじゃないわい Holy shit わしの名前は未来のコマンジャー地獄の淵からよみがえってまいったぞ Dear Lord How's he gonna shit now? <laughs> also, he's a robot. That's not fair. <laughs> That's kind of awesome, yeah. But still, what the fuck? <laughs> That fucking chapter was incredible. Holy shit. Round of applause for that chapter.